a little announcement from MicroStrategy from their financial statements published today, 30th of October, 2024. Listen to this and we'll go back to the charts at the end. MicroStrategy published today its financial results for the three month period ended on September 30, 2024, the third quarter of 2024, and made a few announcements that I had to make a video about because this guy, Michael Saylor, is not kidding with Bitcoin. So I'm gonna read through it and comment on what it says here, but some of the numbers that I'm gonna read are actually crazy. So the conviction of this guy towards Bitcoin is no joke. So it says 5.1% BTC yield KPI achieved in Q3 2024. You will see this matrix in all future press releases of MicroStrategy. Announces a 21 billion at the market equity offering. He's not playing into the millions anymore. It's 21 billion. Announcing a target of raising 21 billion using fixed income securities. That's a separate line. It's not the same line. Revises annual BTC yield target to 6%, from 6% to 10% for 2025 through 2027. So the statement says, our focus remains to increase value generated to our shareholders by leveraging the digital transformation of capital. Today, we are announcing a strategic goal of raising 42 billion US dollars of capital over the next three years, comprised of 21 billion of equity and 21 billion of fixed income securities, which we refer to as our 21 slash 21 plan. As a Bitcoin treasury company, we plan to use the additional capital to buy more Bitcoin as a treasury reserve asset in a matter that will allow us to achieve higher BTC yield, said Fong Lee, President and Chief Executive Officer of MicroStrategy. I'll come back to this number. Q3 2024 was another transformational quarter for MicroStrategy as we raised 2.1 billion in equity and debt. A proven track record of using intelligent leverages serve as the foundation to execute our strategic three-year 2121 plan. Through our treasury strategy, we increase our Bitcoin holdings by 11% in the quarter, increase our year-to-date BTC yield to 17.8%, and reduce our total annualized interest expense by 24 million. As of September 30th, 2024, the carrying value of the company's digital assets 252,220 Bitcoin was 6.851 billion US dollars. So now, Michael Seller's plan is to play in the billions by 42 billion dollars of Bitcoin in the next three years. At the current price of 72,661 and 35 cents, 42 billion dollars will buy you 578,000 Bitcoin. They have a bag of 254, 252, sorry. So that would be 830,220 Bitcoin. However, Bitcoin has a set supply and MicroSailor or anybody for that matter will not be able to buy 578,000 Bitcoin for 42 billion without raising the price. It's impossible. Therefore, they're going to get less than 578,000 Bitcoin. He will not get to 830,000 Bitcoin. And just to put it in perspective, Satoshi Nakamoto's bag is estimated at 1.05 million Bitcoin. So nobody will be close at least for three years, if not for the next five years, because it's going to be more and more difficult to obtain equivalent amount of Bitcoin as the prices doubles. And when your plan of, do, of buying more than 500,000 Bitcoin, it's impossible to keep the price low for the asset. So theoretically, MicroStrategy would like to 2.3x its current position 
and be the ultimate leader of Bitcoin in the future. BlackRock is accumulating like crazy. They could be reaching probably 1 million in the next five years also. So only two players can drive the price of Bitcoin to the moon very, very quickly. I've said that many times in my videos. Nobody knows how a finite asset, an asset that has a fixed supply that cannot be bended, what will happen when the demand is extremely high. And that's when exponential price can be seen or will be seen because there will not be enough sellers if you are playing in the billions. So keep that in mind. So is it easy to be invested in MicroStrategy at this stage? Yes, not financial advice, but yes. It has already allowed many people to get to the million dollar target due to its performance. But with this announcement on the 30th of October, 2024, MicroSailor and MicroStrategy are not messing around. They're going to take $42 billion of cash that is depreciating in value and putting it in an asset that will most probably explode in price. The market cap of MicroStrategy is going to go to the roof. And those companies who hold Bitcoin in their treasuries will benefit greatly from small proxies to huge proxies. That includes Tesla at this stage, the US government that has a lot. Anybody who owns and has Bitcoin will benefit in the next three years. These guys already announced it, and it has not happened yet that MicroSailor and MicroStrategy have issued this type of news and not deliver on their promise. If they state that they can raise $42 billion of capital, is because they are already in discussions to actually secure that $42 billion in capital. So watch out, everybody. These numbers are no joke. And when companies are going to start to talk about billions assigned to Bitcoin, anything can happen to the price. So it's up to you to decide what to do. But this news, I thought, was impressive. It's one page from the financial results of MicroStrategy. Everybody will digest this today. I think the stock is down 10% or something like that today. What will happen tomorrow? What will happen in the next three years for MicroStrategy? Nobody knows, but for me, it's one of the most easiest trades that you can do if you're starting investing, if you have already quite a bit of experience in investing, even if you're a pro investor. So for all who have conviction on Bitcoin, congrats, because the crazy time is right here, right now. So on the daily chart, we see the movement of MicroStrategy since the breakout of 180, went as high as 267 here. Is it normal to get some type of pullback correction? Yes, it's normal. I highly suggest to those who are looking into investing in MicroStrategy to buy on red days, on dips. The bigger the dip, the better the entry. That's what I would advise. It's not financial advice, but that's what I would do because MicroStrategy does not necessarily move with the price of Bitcoin. Sometimes it front runs it. Most of the time it front runs it. So when it goes up, it goes up before Bitcoin. But on the flip side, it could go down before Bitcoin goes down. So the performance of the stock has been just crazy, impressive. So not a lot of people can complain about the performance. The conviction of Michael Saylor and his team towards Bitcoin is on match. So the future is bright for the stock. It's an easy trade for me. I see it as that because there's going to be a lot of inflows, a lot of money that is going to go into Bitcoin. And when we're talking about billions of dollars invested, 
the price of Bitcoin is no longer driven by you and me, small investors, retail. We're out of the picture, we contribute a little bit, but not at the scale that a lot of players are playing right now. So they will, unfortunately, possess quite a lot of Bitcoin. I know it goes against the, the whole philosophy of Bitcoin, but I urge people or yourselves to try and convince a few of members of your family. It's up to you to do it. But I'm probably, I asked my sisters and they said no, no way. So what I'm planning on doing is giving them a little bit of money, forcing them to open an account in crypto.com or Coinbase or something and tell them to transfer the money, make the buy themselves in front of me and then just leave it like that. That's the only thing that I'm planning on doing because I think it's important that everybody has a little bit of Bitcoin just to get your toe in the water, to get used to it, to learn about it, to get curious about it. And some people are more interested in investing than others. But the most critical thing is that if you are not in assets, you're going to get toast. In the future, in the next 5, 10, 50 years, if you do not have assets, you'll be left behind because they're going to print so much money that cash will have no value. And this is why this is why Michael Saylor is taking USD and putting it and putting it into Bitcoin. So what will happen with the stock price? At this stage we're kind of extended maybe a little bit. Maybe we're going to go back to 220 or maybe 200. It could be a possibility, but it depends on what Bitcoin does. If Bitcoin pumps and goes beyond the all-time high, I think MicroStrategy will react quickly. So it's pretty unpredictable, but the momentum is up and to the right, and we have not started the exponential phase of Bitcoin. What will happen with the stock when we do? Watch out. So this is what I'm looking forward, and this applies, this analysis applies to most of the proxies from big ones to small ones. Those that have quite big positions in Bitcoin will be influenced first because Bitcoin dominance is very high right now. But after that, those who have put their conviction in Solana, for example, it's going to be lagging a little bit and it's going to explode when we get to altcoin season. But as Bitcoin goes up, it's going to pull everything up. So altcoins will follow but in a less extreme way. That's how I'm looking at it. I hope you have some insight in what's coming. I don't know how high we'll go. I don't know how big this can be. All I can tell you is that I have conviction in Bitcoin and Solana, and therefore, by ricochet, I have conviction in MicroStrategy. That's all.